Hello, I'm Tim Spinoza. Welcome back to the Real Deal Magic Review. Today, we're going to be reviewing Cupid's Arrow by Oliver Productions. Now, also, if you like, subscribe, and comment, we're going to be giving away a lot of different stuff. I've got Taiwan Ben, the coin and bottle we're going to be giving away, Swift we're going to be giving away, WMD uh, we're going to be giving away, we're going to be giving away an animated deck, the Chupa Lupa, but you've got to like, subscribe, and comment. You get in there, we're going to be doing multiple drawings, and as you watch my videos, we're going to be announcing those dates. I'm giving away a lot, a lot of stuff. So, make sure to watch, like, subscribe, and comment. Okay, on with the review, Cupid's Arrow by Oliver. What you get in the box. You get some gimmick cards, a little packet of a particular gimmick and a couple of other gimmick cards, and that's pretty much it inside the box. You get your video tutorial. And let's talk about what type of trick this is. This is a find a selected card in a very unusual way. And I'll tell you, to start with, I'll tell you I like the trick. There's a couple of little issues, but I do want to start with saying I like it. Stick around, we'll talk about the issues. The trick is, you have someone select a card, and ultimately a little bow and arrow appears on the deck, um, and that bow and arrow is actually becomes real. And you animate it, you shoot a little arrow inside the middle of the deck, and that arrow finds the card. So when you, when you spread through at that point, there's an arrow stuck, uh, it's drawn on the card, but it's their selected card. So it's a very cute, like, Valentine's Day trick, or a nice, fun little uh, play on. It's just playful. So I like that. It's very cool. It's very cool. So Cupid's Arrow. Now... I'll give you my opinion of the trick. I'll, overall, effect-wise, like I said, I like it. It's fun. The reactions are good. Um, and it's a great little play on finding a selected card. Something different, especially on a holiday like Valentine's or just doing something for a girl you want to impress or a guy you want to impress, something like that. Now, here's the downfall. The trick was quite tedious to make. Uh, we spent two hours probably making the gimmick and completing all that. That was kind of tough. And the tutorial, by the way, was good, but it wasn't excellent. There was some gray areas on actually how to put together the gimmick. Quite tedious. You're going to need glue, scissors, marker, various different things. End result is, it's cool, it looks good, but a little bit inconsistent. You know, it's one of those tricks that's not going to work every time for you. There are a couple of ways to cover it up that I figured out. I've been performing for over 25 years, so I'll, I generally can overcome the smaller nuances like that. And But, you know, it's definitely probably an advanced level trick due to the inconsistencies and there's a pretty good bit of specific handling that you need to do. So keep that in mind. If you're a beginner, this is going to be tough to pull off for you. It really is. Not that you couldn't do it with the work, but you're going to have to get in the mirror, you're going to have to do this trick several times, and you're going to have to figure out the little inconsistent nuances. Now as far as durability goes, I don't think this trick is going to last you forever. Uh, there's some things that are good that could possibly break. They haven't broken on us yet. We've used it several times, but I just like to throw that out there. It's not one of those like the locking deck that's you could keep forever in your case and pull it out and it's ready to go. This trick is going to wear out and break over time, but not to say you couldn't figure out a way to maybe bring it back to life. Um, I like the I like the overall the overall trick and the tutorial was good but not great little gray area like I said who would want to perform this pretty much anybody that wants to have fun with a card trick you know impress somebody it's something different uh, it's one of those things you pull out and it does it is going to take a dedicated deck for this ready 
to go. You're going to have to dedicate a deck and be ready to go with that in your case. The reset is actually quite tedious. So it's going to be a good probably two to three minute reset uh, with a little bit of, uh, like I said, inconsistencies. When you go to shoot that arrow in the deck, that's when your inconsistencies can creep up on you. A couple of ways to cover it up. It wouldn't take a whole lot of thought to figure it out. Uh, like I said, I've been dealing with cards for a long, long time. So the overall rating for the Cupid's Arrow, I would say a 7 out of 10 is my overall rating. And by the way, I forgot to say the price point for this trick is $25. Do I think it's worth it? Yeah, I do. I think it's worth it. I think it's about right, you know. A lot of work goes into it, but if you put the work into it and you practice it, you're going to have fun with your strength. So, I guess the real deal final cut for me, I'm going to perform this trick. I'm going to have some fun with it. And I think you may too. There's a lot of fun things about it. Like I said, a little bit tedious in making it, but I think you're going to have fun with this. So, Cupid's Arrow. You can get it. 25 bucks. Advanced handling. That is the real... Oh, and by the way, I can't forget, once again, like, subscribe, and comment. We're going to be giving away tons of this stuff. And the only way you can win, we're going to be announcing the dates for various different things. But in order for us to build this channel and get everything going and keep it going and keep me doing reviews like this for you guys, is you got to like and subscribe. That's how it works on YouTube. So I certainly appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Tim Spinoza with The Real Deal Magic Review. Peace.